Hi, I'm Beth. I'm a math teacher, and I'm going to show you how to deal with an addition problem that has parentheses. Now, based on the associative property of, <laughs> of uh, uh, mathematics, actually, uh, the associative property of mathematics says that if you have 4 plus 2 plus 3, you could put this in parentheses and do that first. Anything in parentheses means do this first. Have you heard the term PEDMAS? P E D M A S. That's the order of operations that you need to follow. P stands for parentheses, E for exponents, D division, M multiplication, A addition, S subtraction. That's the order you need to do things in in order to make sure your math works. So if you see parentheses, you got to do what's inside the parentheses first. In this case, you do 4 plus 2, ah, 6, and then you add your 3 and you get 9. The associative property tells us that even if we have 4 plus 2 plus 3 with these in parentheses, we're still going to get 9 because 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 4 is 9. This gets tricky though if we have any multiplication happening outside of it. So if you were to have something like 5 times 2 plus 3, you need to do the addition first. So 2 plus 3, that gives us 5, multiply that by 5, we get 25. If you were to make a mistake and just say, well, 5 times 2, that's 10 plus 3, you'd end up with 13, you'd end up with the wrong answer. So when you're dealing with addition in parentheses, make sure to do it first. Order your operations as PEDMAS tells you to, parentheses, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, and you'll get the right answer. I'm Beth, and uh, enjoy.